the scope of the audit audit can be classified into three different categories the product audit the process audit or the system audit the product audit is focusing on the product the end product the process audit on the other hand looks at a specific process the process which is being reviewed the process which is being audited and the system audit is the overall audit of the whole system so let's move on to the next few slides and look at the difference between these three types of audits the product audit the process audit and the system audit so as we earlier talked the focus of the product audit is on the product the end product and what we are looking here is the fitness for use whether the product which is being produced is fit for use and here we see whether the product is meeting the design requirements or not and what are the opportunities to improve what is going well and what is not going well so all these aspects are covered in the product audit so after talking about the product audit let's talk about the next type of audit which is a process audit in the product audit the emphasis was on the product now in process audit the emphasis is on a specific process on a specific activity on a specific function so let's take an example of a simple organization which has a sales department which takes orders from the customers and then there is a design department and then there is a production department then there is a final inspection then packaging and dispatch so here we have a flow diagram of a simple organization which takes order the sales department takes the order the design department designs the product for the customer production is done and then that product is inspected which is later packed and then it is dispatched so this is a simple organization so here in this case we can consider doing audit of a specific process that specific process could be sales could be design so let's say if we are doing the audit of the design function or the design process then it's a process audit in the process audit the actual process is compared with the documented requirement for the process and the focus here is on a single process whereas when we move to the next level of audit which is a system audit which we will talk on the next slide this will be much more comprehensive than a process audit so let's talk about that system audit on the next slide so unlike the process audit which was focused on a specific process that process could have been sales that process could have been the design process or the manufacturing process here in the system audit we have a comprehensive audit of multiple processes but the point here is it's not just multiple processes looking individually here we look at the interaction between processes as well so in the process audit as we talked on the earlier slide we could have done an audit of sales function we could have done the audit of design function but what we would have missed there was the interaction between the sales and design so system audit covers a comprehensive audit of multiple processes and the interaction between them so let's quickly recap here we talked about three types of audit the product audit the process audit and the system audit the product audit was focused on a specific product whether the product is fit for use whether the product is meeting required specification standards or whether it's meeting the design requirements or not so the focus is on the product coming to the process audit in the process audit we talked about auditing a specific process that process could be sales that process could be design or that process could be manufacturing the next type of audit is a system audit system audit is a comprehensive audit it covers not only multiple processes but it also covers the interaction between processes so in the next lecture we will be looking at classification of audits based on who is doing that audit we will talk about first party audit 
second party audit and third party audit.